Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. After the introduction of seasonal talents, Call of Dragons gained another way of having fun, another way of uh, new synergies and new gameplays, which is always a great idea for the next season. Hopefully, these seasonal talents will stay with us in our future uh, seasons, simply because it gives us a new way of uh, fighting, new way of gameplay, a new way of thinking about the game. As a marksman main, uh, I'm trying my best to understand which trees and which talents are better uh, than the others, and today I'm going to speak about marksman talents, and in general how you should apply and choose the talents which will be suitable for your gameplay. I always suggest to uh, watch your own gameplay, uh, how you are having fun and what kind of uh, additional stats and additional skills will benefit your own gameplay and your own fun. Because simply this game is all about fun. I understand everybody wants to be number one and the best, but it's really really hard. So what you can do is to soak up as much fun out of this game as possible. So in, in my opinion, there is a couple of ways of uh, choosing the talents for these trees. There is early game talents, there is a, a late game talents. Today I'm going to speak about early game talents for marksmen and late game talents for marksmen. Of course, for early game, uh, battle preparation is an amazing idea. Uh, like You should understand your past gameplays, how you were struggling, what was your main uh, plus what you wanted to have more in the past seasons and you can get it here uh, in the season ti there is always a choice between two talents and you are going to choose one whichever you like for example battle preparation is early game uh, talent tree and there is two skills which you can choose uh, from right renown and the harvester your legion gathers 50 percent resource from the like it's gathering uh, talent season and the renowing is just giving you more prestige. In my opinion, every single season which I started as a free-to-play player, I always lacked the prestige gathering because I wanted to have more, and I I generally stopped in a <clears throat> like in a state where there is there is a lot of prestige needed to upgrade some of the uh, policies. That's why I chose renown. After that, there is a pretty obvious choice. There is Glories of War and there is Back in uh, Business. Increase uh, like Command Point Recovery Speed by 10% is amazing talent, in my opinion, uh, because at the start of the season, your main job is to uh, level up your heroes and you want to have uh, a, like Command Points as much as possible because without that, you won't be able to farm forts, uh, you won't gonna have enough prestige, you won't gonna have... Uh, your uh, heroes leveled up because you are just waiting until your commands points will gonna be recovered after that i'm not i'm not thinking that i will continue to uh, like uh, use my talent points on the battle preparation because the daily warrant capacity by one i'm already getting the capacity warrants from the policies uh, logistical support uh, as a free-to-play player i'm not going to use my resources for healing and alliance protection that's already uh, kind of late game uh, talent and uh, if you are a player who likes to uh, fight and you want to participate in wars you generally are not going to uh, farm during war uh, situations that's why i highly recommend to just choose renown or harvester depending on your early game and from the back in the business and uh, uh, glories of war i would 100 percent choose back in the business um, we are still speaking about early game uh, talents and for early game of course um, like as a marksman player battle uh, accuracy is an amazing uh, tree which i would highly recommend to choose the talents here is a gale of step or a forceful leadership well as a marksman player i always wanted to have more march speed because uh, marksmen and mages are the lowest march speed legion types in the game 
Uh, that's why I did not think twice. I understand that, like you want to choose every single skill uh, which gonna give you more damage, but you need to understand that you are a free-to-play player, and uh, like uh, utility is great in this game. Uh, not only damage is most important stat, like march speed, health, defense. So you need to play around your own weaknesses. That's why I chose march speed of your uh, legion units by five percent. And after that, there is a big uh, choice you need to make. There is burning rage, and there is hertz as one. In my opinion. As you can see, I chose Hertz as one uh, because I'm a marksman player and my marksmen are generally doing more damage by normal attacks. Uh, you should choose Hertz of as one if you have at least three to four range units which you are going to fight with. If you have two or one, I would not recommend it because that's not gonna be too much change. Uh, like of course additional uh, range legions that enters the battle increases range legions attack by 1.5%. If you have like 3, 4 or 5 range units, you are getting a great buff uh, to every single range unit you are fighting with. Burning Rage is a good talent. Your Legion deals 3% uh, more normal attack damage in the field. Uh, well, as I said, normal attacks is for marksmen, but here you are just getting too much attack. And also, like the most important talent which we have for marksmen is long range warfare. And like there is a lot of controversy, a lot of uh, speaking, like 15% less base physical attack is of course bad. And, and also like you are getting same range as range as a mages. And uh, the most uh, bad thing about it that uh, like artifacts does not increase the range. They have same range uh, which had before, which means it will be pretty hard for you to use your artifacts. But there is one way, like for example, Hertz 1 is giving Legion attack by 1.5% per Legion. And also new policies which we have in this season, you are getting 10% uh, more uh, Marksman unit damage dealt, right? This uh, policy was not with us in past seasons and it kind of mitigates the attack uh, minus on the long range warfare. Uh, that's why I think if you are a marksman player, you should 100% go for it because I'm not sure if you're going to have another chance uh, to have same range as the mages in future seasons. Of course, suppressive fire, every time your range legion deals normal attack damage to a target, the target march speed and rage accumulation speed is reduced. And... <clears throat> Like generally, like adding more debuffs whenever you are just standing still and attacking enemies with normal attacks is a great thing to have. Like in my opinion, this is like early game uh, talents which you should choose if you are a uh, free-to-play player and marksman uh, main in general. Let's now speak about uh, the late game talents which is more interesting in my opinion. For example, let's say we are already in two months into the season TI and we need to reset and generally reset costs nothing. That's a great thing. I would not go any points to battle preparation. I would not go with any points for battlefield domination. My maybe maximum glory bound because of the uh, glory uh, like merits is giving us more damage it's not much but it's something let's say we are already in the late game i would go uh, for gale of step i would go for hertz as one i would go for uh, long range warfare and the last one suppressive fire after that it's most interesting which three you are going secondary as a marksman main engineering mastery i understand all this skill is not fun and it's not giving you like maximum stats or attack or defense or march speed. But I would go for engineering mastery simply for only reason. This breaching strike is an amazing talent for marksmen. When your legion launches a normal attack, they have 10% chance to reduce the target's legion defense by 0.5 for 10 seconds, maximum to 10 stacks. Multiple legions can add stacks by attacking the same target and each new stack resets the duration time. Amazing talent. Like Generally, I think for marksmen, if we're going to compare every single legendary ta seasonal talents, Breaching Strike is the best one. That's the only reason I would go uh, Battle <coughs> battle UCT. UCT. I, I can't read this uh, name, I'm sorry. And Engineering Mastery simply because of Breaching, this breaching Strike. 
this gonna give you a lot of damage a lot of defense break and in general uh for the marksman players defense break is an amazing thing to have uh, especially if you are fighting against tier 5 players mainly infantry uh, even some cavalry well against mages they don't have generally high amount of defense that's why i think you're gonna deal more and way way more damage so let's rewind let's have a little summary like for the early game we are getting battle preparation the renown and the back in the business i'm not suggesting you to upgrade these uh, talents if you are uh, if you are not a farmer and if you are not going to uh, fight in this season and after that i would go gale step uh, hertz says one long range warfare and suppressive fire uh, for the late game i would not choose any of battle preparation talents uh, i would go same uh, talents for the battle svt and the next three which i would uh, like choose the talents would be engineering mastery doesn't really matter which kind of skills you will choose from here like choose the skills which will apply your own gameplay but most important talent on the engineering mastery is breaching strike uh, I would not go deep because I already spoke why this is the best talent which I see for the marksman. I understand like suppressive fire gives us um, like debuffs, a march speed uh, reduction, rage accumulation speed, but uh, as a marksman player, your main job is to deal as much damage as possible after the addition of the long range warfare. And I think from for the legendary talents, in seasonal talents trees uh, the best uh, legendary talent for marksman is breaching strike that's why that's the only reason why i'm going for the engineering mastery in the later stages of the game how you are generally getting the uh, talent points so, well talent quests which i highly recommend to do every single one of them like for example i still need to have a level 53 heroes and i'm gonna get one talent points rescue effort simply occupy the villages of course uh, you if you are a, a war player and your gameplay is mainly fighting against the uh, real players pvp you're gonna get additional points and of course simply uh, the uh, whenever your augustine stone is progressing you are getting some talent points too this system is pretty good i really really like it i'm giving a big thumbs up to the developers of call of dragons because it's easily accessible you can reset it anytime you want you are not losing anything simply you are choosing the every single talent which is uh, compatible to your own gameplay that's why uh, whenever we as a photo player players or even pay to win players have choices and we can reset our choices whenever you want depending on the situation in the game this is always a good idea generally i always try to be positive because this is a game i have been playing almost one year and if i will be negative about the game that means i'm not having that much fun and if i'm negative i should stop playing the games in general because from my own childhood i have been playing games for more than like 20 years uh, 21 22 years and my my main has been always to have fun as much as possible i understand like in this time of period like there is a lot of negativity everybody wants to be the best everybody wants to be the one of the best it's really really hard guys i understand i'm a competitive person by myself my i always wanted to be first i always wanted to win but you need to look at the reality instead of being negative and instead of pointing fingers at people uh, you just should like focus on your gameplay and try to uh, get as strong as possible and has, have as much fun as possible. I understand that developers made some mistakes, but who doesn't make mistakes, right? This game is one year old and I really like what I see from this game uh, by being one year old game. Like one week ago we had well, like one year anniversary or we're gonna have it pretty soon in a couple of days. So there is a great future ahead of us. I think this game will succeed even more time by time simply because I see every new season there is a new stuff, there is new interesting stuff and that's all it matters, right? Of course, on the road of success there is always a moments when you're gonna fall but what's the most important and what's the most uh, interesting is how you get up, right? And generally I'm not going to point fingers at developers whenever they make a mistake because 
like uh, nobody told me to just play the game i i'm playing the game by my own will nobody told me to uh, like pay money in this game like i'm not paying but in general for pay to win players nobody's telling you to pay in this game it's your own will it's your own decision and you should rock with your own decisions if something goes bad uh, that's a bad uh, behavior that you are going to point fingers nobody's telling you to do uh, whatever you want this is your decisions this is your own gameplay and this is your life that's why uh, like pointing fingers about negative stuff that's not my style that's not how i live and that's not how i raised uh, this is all i wanted to speak about the game in general and the seasonal talents and in general i i really really suggest you guys to be more positive not only in this game but in life because life is hard uh, like there is not uh, there is not many things that uh, we can be positive regarding life that's why games are made to have fun games are made for uh, passionate people who want to uh, like uh, maybe escape from the tough life or maybe they would just want they just like the uh, the stories or they just like the fantasy uh, like i understand i i kind of lost the topic at first but yeah we spoke about marksman seasonal talents i spoke about my view about the game and being positive now, like in my opinion you won't gonna see much of negative stuff on this channel if you like to be positive if you like call of dragons and if you like in general games i i would be more than happy if you will uh, like the videos subscribe comment because like yeah I, it's been my dream since the childhood to make videos but because of the tough life i had no chance because i had to work uh, all the time and finally i'm able to do it i'm kind of living my dream i understand i'm not a big content creator but yeah whatever it is uh, what's the most important i'm having fun making videos and having a good community who i can discuss and talk about uh, games in general uh, thanks for watching uh, i'm gonna continue making more videos uh, for the future uh, soon we are going to have some wars and i'm gonna turn on the streams and have a uh, deep conversations with you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I hope you are having an amazing day. Bye-bye.